Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're back with episode 2 of Monsters at Work. And I've got to say it's an okay show, it's nothing special but it's enjoyable and I get, again these sorts of shows are made for kids um, but you know for the generation that grew up with Monsters Inc and Monsters University they're enjoyable and I believe they're not tarnishing anything to do with the uh, the legacy. And yeah, so spoilers ahead of all, as always, subscribe and like, say name as a video, comment anything else you want to see, and of course, enjoy the video. So this week's episode focuses on Tyler Tuskerman's first day as an official MIFT member. Basically, the this episode just focuses on him trying to... He just wants to focus on laughter. But ultimately, these guys are very clingy and weird. And, you know, the mum even says she finally meets a few of the myth, myth, uh, myth workers. And she says, yep, they're weird. But it's, it's good in a way. You know, I'm not seeing any characters I truly like at the moment. But I loved, you know, there's a bit of back and forth. Um, he's doing the myth work. He's trying to deal with it. And, but he's admitting that he's not going to be there long. And ultimately, I think that's where it's going to go. I know the series is over. <clears throat> but I think he will ultimately embrace the myth work. And may, may not even become a, uh, a laugh worker. But, um, you know, he goes to Mike's laugh classes in this episode. And they're there constantly. They found him after they did a welcome thing for him. And he just, he needs space. Um, they're so The characters are so clingy. It's crazy. But uh, you see how much, how excited they are to have someone new around. <clears throat> and um, they lose Banana Peel because of his comedy side. Obviously, us as an audience can't understand a word he's saying, but the characters on the show um, can. And he gets taken out, and Tyler Tuskerman basically takes his place, gets a new desk, and is sort of give it a chance in this episode when obviously Mike's on his like energy boost thing. He gets a chance to prove himself, which mirrored the start of the episode where he fails to, you know, un undo a knot. Uh, a knot. And at the end of the episode, he's the only person with strength, you know, the long arms, big arms, to undo this knot, to save Mike <clears throat> and pull the door back. And ultimately, he smiles, he has a good time, and gives him a reason to celebrate with the new myths and his new myth friends. <clears throat> I think it's a very wholesome moment, um, <laughs> but the scene was so good because all the mythers were saying, uh, just like, pull the wrench, pull the, pull the nut or something. And then, as an audience, you're thinking, why are they singing? And then Sully's just stood there going, just pull the nut. <laughs> like, he just says it, like, what's going on? Like, we're not in a musical or something. And I think that's why I love it. There's a fine balance. You Monsters Inc. was known for the, the a bit of comedy, you know, mostly seriousness, but with water news and stuff. And that's why Sully has a, yeah, a little bit of comedy in there. But he's been brought up in that environment. And all these people in the myth group are so free and comical and you know clingy and cringy. But it's good in a way. You know, I love that scene. Uh, I love how in the OG characters about, you know, you have know, Razi's sister. Uh, is it Rose? Rose, the name? <clears throat> but yeah, um, I just, I think it's an okay show, but it's just consistently okay, which I, I love. Uh, so great characters who I think will grow to love. And, you know, the guy with the four eyes is really weird and dodgy. I'm pretty sure he's out to get him, but we'll see. And what I love about this episode is it does the episode get a little brief look into Mike's comedy class, but at the end of the episode, like a post credit scene, you have his comedy class. And I like how they're not taking up the episodes too much to cover the comedy class, even though they could, because <clears throat> nothing really happens in that, in that 20, 30 minute gap. So I'm, I'm pretty sure they could squeeze in a two minute segment. But ultimately, it just gives a bit more extra content and there's no rush time to the comedy class. I'm looking forward to see which characters graduate and go on to the laugh floor. Uh, it seems Tyler had a bit of a relation, I don't mean love relationship, I mean like a friendship with the goth-looking girl. I loved how they were just having a bit of conversation, and you know, it just gives character development to other characters who they could easily promote to main focuses. Tyler Tuskerman is a very good character, and I'm looking forward to seeing where his role goes. <clears throat> And how will they bridge the gap between the point of where Waternoose left at the end of Monsters, Inc. and the laughing 
section of the end of Monsters, Inc. Because obviously, laughter does become an official thing and it's successful. It's a matter of when. You know, is it the end of the series? End of season two? Will we get a season two? Who knows? But, and obviously, you got to take into account Tyler wasn't obviously on the laugh floor. I mean, if you watch it, you might be. I don't know. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Episode three, I'm very excited to check out. Uh, let me know what you think of Monsters at work. Do you think it even comes remotely close to Monsters, Inc. or Monsters University? I think they're very consistent at what they do, people behind the Monsters world. And I hope we, we get more content because it's great. Uh, so, yeah, subscribe and like so you never miss a Monsters at Work video. I'll be sure to do the Monsters Inc. and Monsters University videos once I wrap up this series. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching as always. And see you in the next one. Goodbye.